Greg Baum last updated 9.31, the 23rd of January 2019 Cameron Spencer, Getty Images Ash Barty admitted Petra Kvitova took the game away from me after her 6-1-6-4 quarterfinal defeat. Stefanos Tsitsipas into semi-final Cameron Spencer, Getty Images Petra Kvitova roars in delight after winning her quarterfinal against local favorite Ash Barty in Melbourne. Mark Colby, Getty Images Chuck Petra Kvitova and Australian Ash Barty embrace after their one-side Australian Open quarterfinal. Tennis Petra Kvitova was well cast as the Barty pooper, and poop she did, overwhelming Australia's Ashley in just more than an hour in their Australian Open quarterfinal. The prelude was full of speculation about how Barty might beat Kvitova, but the match was all about how Kvitova always had the beating of Barty. Like Stefanos Tsitsipas, the hero of the afternoon, Barty brings something new and different to tennis but Kavitova this night brought something old that was the difference, her power. Her backhand was a broadsword. To fight it, Barty had only a letter opener. This Barty cheerfully acknowledged. Asked what part of her game had let her down, she replied, no part. Petri took it away from me. I have no regrets. It wasn't a slow start, it was a Petra start. She took the match away from me, read more, asterisk Sisipa's powers into first slam semi asterisk Serena moves step closer to record asterisk Serena ousts Halipit Aussie open asterisk Norquay, sports own unruly family asterisk reason, long live King Rafa Nadal asterisk boot after bag throwing tantrum job done, hands dusted, Kavitova was gracious. I'm sorry, guys, she said, addressing the Rod Laver Arena crowd. She's such a nice person. You should be very proud of her. At last, here was a return Barty could make. She's an amazing human being, she said. And she's getting back to playing her best tennis again. To wit, Kavitova stands this day at number one on the live rankings, though the tournament's reckoning is not done. In setting the scene, the Australian had been identified exclusively by her first name, the Czech only by her surname. It's a bit of an Australian thing. The effect was to cuddle up the one while dehumanizing the other. Tall, stern and driven, Kavitova could only resign herself to the role. Add feedback, but it was a match face and place only. On court in the aftermath, Channel 9's Jim Courier asked her about the challenges she had overcome to be back here. Specifically, this was a home invasion two years ago that left her with severe injuries and sidelined her from tennis. A knowing crowd cheered empathetically, and Kavitova's eyes reddened. Thanks, guys, she croaked. Evidently, she was worth a bit of cuddling of her own. It is worth remembering the handicap conditions of the match. Kavitova is 28, Barty 22. Corrected for tennis age, minus the two years she spent playing cricket, she is 20. In 2011, they were both Wimbledon champions, Kavitova in the real deal, Barty and juniors. The next year, Kavitova came within two wins of reaching number one, and two years after that won Wimbledon again. She is a hardened tour pro. Barty has never been higher than she is now, number 15 in the world, nor progressed as far in a major as this quarterfinal. She is as she was in the first set this night, a lap behind the check. Both their previous matches since Barty returned from her cricket furlough were close and hard-fought Kavitova wins, suggesting the gap was closing. In Sydney final a week ago, it was negligible. But conditions there suited Barty. Here, in the cool of evening, they favored Kavitova. Local longing and commercial considerations created a mythology around this match that it was somehow between peers. It wasn't, not yet. Of the match there's not much to tell. Barty tried her wiles and guiles, but Kavitova was ready for them. Barty hit deep, but Kavitova hit deep and hard. In Barty terms of a old, Kavitova delivered like a pace bowler, leaving no possibility of running down the wicket at her, and received like a batsman standing a meter outside her crease. For Kavitova, there is now pause, then a semi-final, against 35-ranked American Danielle Collins. For Barty, it is also a punctuation mark, a semicolon perhaps. 
She left the court as hastily as she decently could this night, flashing a wry smile as she went. Later, she said she was disappointed, but not because of any sin of omission. I wasn't nervous at all. I was excited, she said. But Petra was outstanding. I have to give all the credit to her, for now, she would reflect, on making the final in the Sydney International this month, on last date status here. The French and whatever lies in between, can wait. I'm extremely proud of what I've done, she said. I think we'll kick back with a beer tonight and celebrate, Kavitova, asked to contemplate her semi-final with Collins, the boulder of this tournament, was taken back to a difficult match against her in Brisbane on New Year's Day. I won it, but, she said. That's right, then, the exultation of the moment took her away. It's a semi-final, she said, so who cares, the age.